You okay? Mm-hmm. As I come up into a lunge position, my foot touches the client from the shoulder. I, ta- I tap once. Tap again using my fingers. I press one hand chop on each side of the spine and just a half, both hands. Chop one half. Chop the other half. From the neck, from the shoulders, down one, from the middle, down a second, two thumbs, down the spine, and I adjust the client up. I tilt their head to the side, interlacing the fingers on the forearms, tilt their head down, one hand faces down, and turns up, rolling. on the neck. Alright? Yeah? You don't have to do much. Simply tilt the head to the other side. And repeat. A lot of clients have to tilt forward. As you drop the knee back, sit behind the client close, interlock your fingers. Notice you can use your elbows to hold their shoulders, working with the neck. Palms circling around the neck, top of the octopus, all the way down to the shoulders. Right in the shoulders, you can squeeze together. As we tilt the head forward, coming back up to the top, we're going to use our thumbs now. Squeeze. Squeeze. So the thumbs press in towards one another. And we make it nice again. slowly bringing the client's head up. I'm using my hand on the forehead and the other hand, the thumb, goes right into the center point, right at the top of the vertebrae. Press the thumb in and then jump the tendon to the side, find the edge of the cranial bone, press in, come back, Skip the middle, go to the other side. Come back to the middle and press again. Circle up, half a thumb and press again. Circle up, half a thumb, press again. Circle up, press again. And in that way, we're going to circle all the way to the crown of the head. At which point we're going to stand up. I'm using my outside leg to hold the shoulder and my inside leg to support their back. I circle top of the head. Then I circle with the other thumb closer towards the forehead. Then I shift the thumb, circle right by the forehead, fix the hair, expose the forehead. In the center of the forehead, thumb on thumb by the hairline. Press into the skin, roll out, 
the thumb circle, the temple. Come back to the middle of the forehead, thumb and thumb. Squeeze up. Then the eyebrow. Follow the top of the eyebrow. Side of the thumb, massage. You can use your index finger in the teardrop area. Press in, hold for a few seconds. Circle it out as you slide along the eyebrow. Your thumb goes at the bridge of the nose, index above the lip, third below the nip, and fourth under the chin. The pinkies go to the side, pull back, and then the circle, the entire jaw region. Circle out to the ears, pull, slide your fingers along the ear. Trace the ear. Feels good for the fun. Close the ears. Bring your thumbs together. Give them a few minutes in their own personal world. As we open the thumbs, circle out. Slowly come down. as we slowly shampoo the head. Moving to faster shampoos. Squeezing the hair or the head itself. People who have long hair, you can slide your fingers, catch hair, squeeze them together. Work the entire head. Once you feel comfortable, one finger, chop the head and the neck. Two fingers, one half. Two hands, one half. To the other side. One half and brushing it off. Come down. Lift your inside knee up. Cover the ears. Oops. Here in the way, find your hands, to cover and close the eye. Your inside arm will support the neck as we open and guide the client back onto the floor. Fix the client's head. Fix their hair. Open their hands. Our client is slightly off the mat. <laughs> you can ask the client to move to the middle before. There we go. <laughs> Relax your body, fix their pants. Come to the inside of their legs. Maybe give a little shake, the legs are touching your body. Touch the hip and slide the energy out the toes. Do it one to three times. Thank the client. Offer your prayers to Dr. Shivago for watching over. If there's any mistakes, anything that went off, there's an apology extended through the prayer of Dr. Shivago. As you move away from the client, you might cover them. Tell them that the massage is over. They should enjoy the time lying, like Shavasana in yoga. When they're ready, they will get up and leave. We'll have a fresh drink of water for them to flush out the toxins. Remember to practice safely. Feel your body. Understand where you are as you touch another. I do recommend that you take a course before you try to apply this on someone else. However, feel free to play and interact. Time massage is to bring two people together. Like yoga brings our mind and our body together. Namaste. Squeezing the hair or the head itself. People who have long hair, you can slide your fingers, catch hair, squeeze them together. Work the entire head.
once you feel comfortable. One finger, chop the head and the neck. Two fingers, one half. Two hands, one half. To the other side. One half and brushing it off. Come down. Lift your inside knee up. Cover the ears. Oops. Here in the way. Find your hands to cover and close the eyes. Your inside arm will support the neck as we open and guide the client back onto the floor. Fix the client's head. Fix their hair. Open their hands. Our client is slightly off the mat. <laughs> you can ask the client to move to the middle before. There we go. <laughs> Relax your body. Fix their pants. Bring your thumbs together. Give them a few minutes in their own personal world. As we open the thumbs, circle out. Slowly come down. As we slowly shampoo the head. Moving to faster shampoos. Squeezing the hair or the head itself. People who have long hair, you can slide your fingers, catch hair, squeeze them together. Work the entire head. Once you feel comfortable, one finger, chop the head and the neck. Two fingers, one half. Two hands, one half. To the other side. One half and brushing it off. Come down. Lift your inside knee up. Cover the ears. Oops. Here in the way. Find your hands. Cover and close. Thumbs down the spine. And adjust the client up. Mm. And tilt their head to the side. Interlacing the fingers on the forearms. Tilt the head down. One hand faces down and turns up. Rolling. On the neck. Alright? Yeah? You don't have to do much. Simply tilt the head to the other side. And repeat. A lot of clients have to tilt forward. As you drop the knee back, sit behind the client close. Interlock your fingers. Notice you can use your elbows to hold their shoulders. Working with the neck. Palms circling around the neck top of the octopus, all the way down to the shoulders. Right in the shoulders, you can squeeze together. 